Hey guys, I'm Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a very cool tip on how to create your own security camera using a smartphone you're not using. Um, and you're going to need, for this case, you're going to need two phones. One phone that's going to be used as a security camera. The other phone, you're going to use it to track your security camera. Um, so you're going to need two apps, of course. On the phone that you're going to use as a security camera, you need to download this app right here. It says IP Webcam. On the other smartphone that you're gonna be using, uh, is gonna be with you all the time, you need to have this app right here. So you can download from the Play Store and it's totally free. It's called iVideon, that's it. So first let's go ahead here to IP Webcam. When you open it up, this is how it's gonna look. This app is totally free to use. Uh, you could upgrade to a pro version for $3.99. Uh, it eliminates watermarks and you, it has a couple of cool features as well. But this, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to use it for free. Uh, here, video preference, there's a couple of things you might wanna know. For example, uh, here, video recording. Um, this right here, I just left it the way it is. Uh, it says uh, record continuously videos into um, 60 seconds. You know, it, it splits the videos in 60 seconds. I left it like that. Uh, remove older videos when free uh, space is less than 520. You could go ahead and change that as well if you want. Uh, compress audio bitrate, this, this, this. I left all that just the way it is. And uh, this by default is set to here by default. But I honestly, I change it to MP4. Um, here, this is the where it's gonna be saved to. If you have like a, a an external memory card, you can put it there. I think it will appear here. Right now, I don't have a memory card, so this is the options that I get. I just left it right there where it is. Um, that's it for that. Video resolution, I chose 720p. And that's because I just want to guarantee that the video quality is going to be smooth when I'm using it remotely. But if you want, you could just go ahead and go to 920, you know, 920 by 1080. Me, my, I'm going to go ahead for 720. Uh, photo resolution here, you can put it as high as you, as you want because these are just photos. I'm just going to leave it right there. Uh, video, uh, quality, video quality, I put it at 80. But let's say you're going to go ahead for lower resolution. You should go ahead 100% resolution. I'm just going to leave it right there, 86%. That's okay. Uh, landscape, you can leave that like that. Flip, leave that like that. Uh, frames per second, um, right now it says your phone camera supports maximum 30 frames per second. Um, by default, it's set to 15. If you want to leave it in 15, you can leave it on 15. I put it on 20 uh, here and leave all these on manual on default. The only ones that I changed here was um, scene mode. I put this to auto. White balance, I put this to auto because white balance, let's say um, somebody turns on the light and uh, it's dark and it goes from from you know from dark to bright so i want this camera to adjust appropriately so that's why i left it on auto um here in exposure i chose by default is on zero i chose two because inside my home where i'm gonna put this camera um, it's always dark so i rather have a little bit more exposure that way it's always recording you know a little bit better um even in the low light so that's why i put it like that if your house gets uh, it's almost bright all day so you could go ahead and leave it on zero if you want on uh, here on power management i left these like this i think the only thing that i activated was this right here it says deactivate display uh, it says let display turn off when inactive i put i check that everything else i just leave it like that um, here in motion, this is where you might want to make some good changes here. Uh, enable motion detection, I set it, I clicked it. Uh, this is detection uh, sensitivity. The lower the number, the bet, uh, the more sensitive it's going to be. So it was 250, I put it on 230. Right here it says record video. Uh, record video to internal storage when motion is detected is triggered so i just go ahead and click that that way when you it detects a motion and it, re it starts recording um it records it to your memory card um here motion detection it was on five i put it on eight um here enable sound detection i also enable it i put it five seconds here here i put it to 200 and here i put it um active as well that way it records to storage when it detects sound um, here uh, this says stop video when inactive for 30 seconds. I leave it like that. Play sound, no sound. 
play no sound because if you're recording you i don't i don't think you want anybody knowing that you're recording so i put no sound there and everything else i just left it the way it is here there's nothing more you should do like audio mode is enabled um i don't think that's disabled so just leave it like that now what you want to do here is create cloud streaming local brass um, broadcasting and cloud streaming create a cl cloud streaming that's going to create an account for the app that you're going to use on your other smartphone so right here press here first to make sure that your phone is compatible with this service and it says here en encoder test successful uh, cloud streaming should work on your device log in to iVideon to connect this phone to the cloud surveillance service uh, do you want to optimize your streaming experience by setting video resolution to 16 80 by 720 bit rate yes that's what i did there um here inactive right now so let's go ahead now and create an account i'm going to go ahead and create an account right here okay so right now i created an account with my youtube account you have successfully logged into a video your devices register to mark the geek at gmail.com so here is my account and that's it that's all you have to do here and the last thing you want to do here is go ahead and click start server when you click start server it's going to start your camera right away and what you might want to do here um, if you're going to leave your camera you know recording right so you might want to connect your camera have your camera your smartphone always connected to the power right that way let me go ahead and connect it there that way it can always you know be on and no battery power i'm just going to use this as a stand you can use whatever you want but i'm just going to use this as a stand right there okay let's go ahead and put that there that's recording that right now that is live recording um here let's go ahead now to this smartphone and here we're going to go ahead and sign in because we already created an account there so we're going to go ahead and sign in here Okay, so here we are signed into the app, just like that, very fast. And like you see here, you can see the camera that's in your account already linked uh, to iVideon.com or the Avidium app. So here, if we click right there, we can see the live streaming of my my freaking toys there, <laughs> the Disney toys. So you see here, that's the streamer right now. It's upside down, that's because I have it set up. It's going turn on the volume here let's go ahead and turn it down uh, by default i always um, i'm planning to use this camera pointing the other way right so if i put it put the camera a little bit more straight and let's go ahead and point the camera to my living room let's see if it actually changed there to my living room uh, one thing to keep in mind you could use your camera like in a tripod if you want or right now I'm using this and you can use that like on the table that way the camera it's you know very stable there is not gonna move at all and it's always connected to the power that's what you want to have and there it is look at that so it's connected there like you see there now the camera looks a lot better like you see there it looks a lot more better and let's go ahead back again uh, from here you could do a couple things here like for example if you want to turn off the camera you could turn it off here if you want um here you got all the events all the events that um have been happening at your home while recording um here you got settings uh you can sign out do not disturb video quality you can also change it from here right now it's on auto but you can change it to high medium or low i leave it on auto uh do not disturb if you click do not disturb it says turn off notification until i turn back on uh, for one hour, two hour, I just, honestly, I just leave it on like that. But you could control this however the hell you want, okay? You can make this work however the hell you want. You could turn off the camera and make it turn on, like, for example, every couple hours. Or you could just turn off the camera right here if you want. Uh, right now, look at that. It's recording perfectly great. Let's go and put the camera a little bit back uh, there. And, um there's a couple things here you can actually do like for example if you want to take a screenshot a picture take right there a picture and it saves the picture to the gallery like see there save the picture to like gallery now if i go here here to the gallery let's go ahead to my gallery duh, duh, duh. 
And there it is. Look at that. Look at the image. And remember, we can adjust the image quality in the app itself. Uh, this is the watermark you're going to get here for using it for free. If you if you pay the pro version, you will not get a watermark. Um, and look at that. Look how cool is that. This is me before recording, testing it. <laughs> look at that. And you can save these pictures to the... This was a lot a lot more darker in my house. Right now I have all my lots on, but this was a lot more darker and look at that. I still got a good image there. You can zoom in and you can basically see who's there. Okay, you can see this guy has a tattoo, glasses and all that. <laughs> so you can see there it looks very good, especially if there's a lot of light, it looks very very clear. Um and that's where it's going to be the uh, when you take snap screenshots or pictures, they're gonna be saved to this phone. The video is gonna be saved to the storage of the phone. Um, here, of course, you could do snapshot, events. Um, if you connect to the cloud, uh, there is a, this version is free. It's totally free to use this app the way we're using it right now. But let's say you wanna do other stuff, like for example, um, save to the storage and access media from seven days back or 30 days back, you click here, and here you got a couple options. You got says the past seven days are smartly recorded footage or the past 30 days are smartly recorded footage. I honestly would se select, for example, if you're going out for a weekend, you might only record for four or five days. I would select this, this one right here, click select, and you would pay $9.99. Honestly, I think that's a great deal if you're going out for a weekend and you want to feel safe that you're at least having recording at least seven days back when you're actually going to be out five days. Um, here you got the credit card and all that. If you go to um, 30 days, I think it's like $19, uh, $19 a month. Uh, and basically that's it. Uh, so here we got that. If you want to turn it off, you could go ahead and turn camera off. It says turn off all cameras until I turn back it on or uh, or for an hour. You could turn it off for an hour and automatically it will turn on for an hour. So if I click here, turn off the camera automatically stops recording, starts streaming. So if I want to turn it on whenever the hell I want to, so turn on the camera. Boom. Camera is back on. Click right there. Let's wait for it to start streaming. And there it is. Yeah, there it is. We and it's recording. That's it. That's awesome. And let's go ahead and take a snapshot right there of my hands waving. <laughs> and that's it. That's basically how you're gonna use this app on your phone. Now over here, let's go back to this phone right here. Go back to this phone. Uh here. The camera, of course, is gonna stay on all the time. Of course, it, it will dim the screen and all that. It will turn off the, the, the screen when it's not, when it's being inactive. But let's say you go back to your phone and you wanna see it to this phone and you wanna see the recordings. All you gotta do is go ahead here to video manager, um, file manager, look for the IP webcam videos here. And there it is. Here are the videos. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. So like you see there, it recorded to the memory card because we selected in the settings to record to memory when motion is detected or with sound is detected. So that's the reason why it recorded to the memory of the phone. That's awesome. So guys, that's it. Just wanted to share this with you guys just to let you know that you can use, you know, you can use your old smartphone or any other spare smartphone that you have as a security camera uh, very, very easily using this app right here, which is iVideon and um, using uh, uh, the IP webcam on your other app that you can use as a security camera and guess what what we're doing here right now is totally free awesome so thanks for watching my video guys till next time